Hello, I'm doing a voiceover for the first part of this video because I have had to cut out so much um, to shorten the video. I waffled on about everything and nothing. So I hope you enjoy it. It's probably a little bit disjointed, but here we go. Now, to do the swipe, lots of people have asked me what I use. <laughs> You know when you order something off Amazon and you think you're just ordering one packet like this? I have a whole box. I didn't obviously didn't read small print. I have lots of these and they were so cheap. Now, I've just unfolded a couple. They're creased and they're torn at the edges. I really like that. I really like um, the effect that you get the variety of the creases and of the tears. So I've just found something that works for me. Um, and just good old fashioned water to spray the edges with when we come to do the swipe. Um, what else can I say? This canvas, let me move that out of the way. This canvas is an old canvas that I've had lying around and it's warped. And I have used my spirit level to level it off, but it's it's a little bit precarious. So we're just going to get going and um, see what happens. Um, yeah, jump in. lots of cells coming up I don't I don't mind the natural cells but I'm not a silicone girl I use it for my workshop because um, they all like the crazy things that happen when you use silicone but then I'm left with the paintings drying and I have to um, coat them all in flour a little bit more <laughs> And if you've got four or five paintings that you've got to do that with, it's very time consuming actually. Um, but it's great fun doing workshops with friends and you know people that come along. And in the UK, when you say I'm a fluid artist, they look at you a little bit strangely because actually this is silver going in. Um, not a lot of people have heard about it. Not in my neck of the woods anyway. I'm gonna use the pearl. In my experience, this pearl seems to disappear a little bit. So I've added it anyway, and I'm going to use a little bit of white. Now I'm not too particular about having any one colour as a swipe, but I like the variety you get with picking up a lot of colours. Now I'm not saying that in the future I won't do that. Look at this craziness, what's going to happen? Who knows? 
<sighs> Move those out of the way. I've no idea if I'm going to do one swipe, multiple swipes, but I do want to do something new and I want to put it down and I want to do a wave. And when you do a wave, it's compulsory that you have to like wiggle your bum as well. So I'm just spraying the edge. Okay. Oh, where am I going to start? I'm going to start in the middle. Now, I'm just going to lay it down and let it grab hold. Grab hold so it's got a little bit of weight. And then I'm going to pull straight. And then... There's a lot of paint on there. There's my dryer finished, sleeping away. Let's try that here. So I'm just going to overlap slightly. Again, I don't mind if things like that happen. I'm going to lay it down, get my balance, and I'm just going to do a little jiggle. Ooh, that's cool. And I have paint dripping all over my floor. But that's fine. After having a workshop in here, this table was covered. Covered. Let's move these out of the way. Down it goes, pull it straight and do a little wiggle. Oh, I'm going to have to do that again, aren't I? Also, I've learned that you don't need to rush. You do not need to rush this process. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Have a swipe one end and a Dutch pour the other. There's more water. Right. So I'm going to swipe down here again. Now I've just learnt a lesson from Kathleen actually in that the side of the paper towel that falls off uh, the canvas, you need to support it more because I didn't just then. But having said that, there's some really cool things happening just there. is right in the way it's not easy working I, I've spent about an hour setting up the tripod for this 
Oh well. What can you see up there? Let me just have a look. Oh, that is crazy. So, for me, I'm going to have to tone that down a little bit. take you in for a closer look now I'm not saying that I'm not going to swipe again when the, this film's finished who knows hold on oh there's quite a lot of copper there isn't there so this is what I'm talking about get a whole different perspective when you start looking through the camera I'm going to do one more swipe and I promise I'll stop But it's all about creative process. Am I right or am I wrong? It's just that whole bunch of copper there. Okay, so obviously this is the dried result. Um, it's quite a few weeks ago I did this. I feel that I have learnt so much since even doing this. And I thought, oh, shall I post it or shall I not? But I've got to stay true to my word and show my learning process because that is what I've said I am all about. Um, to inspire others really not to give up and to keep on going so I'm not professing to be a fantastic fluid artist I'm, I'm just on a journey just like the rest of you so um, you can see that because this canvas was warped I think I mentioned it then as it dried it went a little bit funny um, but then again I've learned so I think it all collected up in one corner there um, and I actually hid this when I had my open day I didn't put it up because I didn't I didn't really think it was very good until somebody came back um, and saw it in the corner of the room and said why didn't you put that up I love it so you know, people like things that you perhaps don't and something to just to bear actually just to bear in mind that other people um quite might might quite like it whereas it's you it's not what just because it's not what you want in your mind uh, to have achieved so yeah keep on painting thank you thanks for watching <laughs> 
and I'm sorry it was so disjointed. Bye.